indigenous and exogenous process of socio cultural change so what are these indigenous processes see indigenous processes are those which are otherwise known as orthogenetic processes or the factors responsible for them are orthogenetic factors these are factors which emanate from within a society so there are certain factors which result in socio cultural change which emanate from within a society for example you can take revivalistic movements reformative movements nativistic movements so these are movements which are trying to create a change and these are from within the society whereas exogenous processes or exogenous uh, factors they are heterogenetic in nature and hence called as heterogenetic factors and these emanate from outside a society so the factors within a society which are creating some change which are emanating within are orthogenetic but which are influenced by outside are known as heterogenetic for example you can see westernization westernization is because of the impact of west on eastern countries and these are the factors from outside which bring a socio cultural change so please write these ones indigenous processes are due to orthogenetic factors which emanate from within a society for example revivalistic reformative and nativistic movements on the other hand you have because of heterogenetic factors which emanate from outside a society for example westernization culture is mentally held ideas and concepts and society exhibits some observable forms of behavior selecting the right optional subject for the upsc exam can be a daunting task especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt but what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference that element is continuous answer writing practice at vijeta ias academy our anthropology optional foundation program offers a comprehensive approach not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by np kishor sir ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills this approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks such as akanksha singh 311 marks in anthro cse 2022 chaudhry shipra vijay kumar 307 marks in anthro cse 2022 ajink kumar who cracked upsc in his first attempt and many more with daily feedback and structured practice you will be well prepared to succeed in the upsc examination with our focused feedback and structured practice you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the cse don't wait any longer enroll in vijeta is academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the upsc exam